Hey guys, so I'm back with another haul and it's just a couple of pieces I wanted to share with you guys. Um, if you're interested in looking for the stuff, I think this is a good time. So, I went to Kohl's. We had gotten, my husband had gotten one of those 30% coupons and I know I had seen a pair of Nikes that I wanted and when I went to purchase them, can't use your coupon. So the only thing I got were these flats and I think these are nice for you know work you can wear them with jeans shorts whatever I think they were really really pretty and they're so so comfortable they have like this padding in it it's by the brand um, authentic American heritage so they were originally $29.99 but with the 30% off they came down to less so these are the shoes and I thought these would look really good now that the spring is around they're so comfortable so so good so I picked these up and I'm not planning on wearing them with any flower items I just think they're gonna clash but with like solid white pants you know or like jeans and a t-shirt a little pop I think would look really really nice so I got that so I've been on the hunt for some palazzo pants. I think they're called palazzo pants. And I was in Walmart and I picked these up. They're like a navy and white. Um, I picked up this top to go with it. It's just a solid navy. So this is what they look like. They've got a string. They are so, so comfortable. So I figured something like this I can wear on my days off. You know, just to run errands or... You know just to lounge around they're really really soft they fit really really nice they fit perfect on the bottom they have like that curve on the end here they've got the drawstring I got mine in an extra large and they're pretty loose so these were on clearance for $11 so I picked these up they had another one but I wanted to see how these fit so I only picked up one and then the t-shirt was $3.94 and you can never go wrong with tank tops so this is the outfit and it's just two pieces under under 15 bucks and you've got a whole outfit so I think these with like flip-flops or like you know really basically like simple flat sandals will look really nice you can dress it up with some nice necklaces you know some wedges if you'd like so yeah I'm happy with that purchase and then I went to put you over there then I went to TJ Maxx and I went one day that it was raining really really hard so I just picked up an umbrella it's in my car it's just by the brand Sharper Image so it was $9.99 and you can't go wrong it's one of those automatic so it's really good for on the go so I was on the hunt for the Bosha stones this one is the cone jack cleansing sponge with complexion clarity clay and I've heard so many good things about it um, they had this one and they had the pink one so I picked up both I actually went because I had seen them and I was picking them up for my sister-in-law but then I figured I'm gonna pick it up for myself too so I got both the pink one is the deep hydrating clay so I'm excited to try these you know now with the summer I want to get a lot of you know oils out and just you know have my skin clear and stuff so I got these and these were $4.99 so you can't go wrong with that so I picked up that then I picked up I wanted a clutch something that I can put around my wrist when I'm on the go and then I saw this one that has it's got the lashes it's got the lips I thought it was so so pretty and it was only $3.99 so it's a little you know you can put your money your card and it's got a little mirror so that's always a good thing um, I'm pretty sure I can fit my cell phone in here and you know 
you're good to go because stuff like this is what I like when I go to like TJ Maxx and Marshalls so I'm not worried about my bag and the people and stuff I can just put that and look at what I, ha I have both hands free to you know look around so I like that it's patent so that if it gets dirty I can just wipe it down I don't have to worry about it but I just thought that that face was so so cute so I got that then I also picked up another um, pair of tweezers I mean not tweezers eyelash curlers I picked up this one it's the eyelash curler donut it says donut worry be happy and it's got a donut inside it's got the soft grip this was $3.99 because I have one that actually I have two I have this one and this one and they just feel like when I curl my lashes I feel like they're cutting them or they're snipping them or they're breaking because then they look kind of shorter than the other so I figured it's time for a new one so I picked this one up and I like that the handle is gripped so that you know you're not dropping it as you're doing it so oh and this one was $3.99 so then I was looking for the Marc Jacob palettes. I know there's more out there. I know there's more things. I didn't find it, but I did run into the Kat Von D. Um, this is the Lightning Liner. It's a metallic eyeliner. It's in this blue packaging. They were $7.99. And there was so many of these, but they were all open. And then this one was by the register. Didn't look touched. So that's the packaging. And it's got a nice point on one end and is there something on the other end so you click it and then the color will come out so so far that's how it's looking on one click you can see if I click more and more product will come out so I'm excited for this because I love Kat Von D's liners I love my trooper liner so I picked up this one it's $7.99 it's in the color batch and then I picked up this one and this one I thought was another eyeliner but it's actually a brow pencil so it's in the color medium brown it's another point so this is actually for your brows and I'm gonna try this because if I can make like the fake hairs on days where I'm not wearing makeup because it is brown um, I'm gonna see how that works and then I'm gonna try it out as an eyeliner and see how that works so it's close to my lash line so if it's intended for your hair we'll see how that goes this one was $5.99 and I'm planning on going back because I've been finding so many high-end makeup at TJ Maxx. So I'm really, really happy with these two that I got. And then I went to, I think that's it for TJ Maxx. So then I went to, I was in the city. We were going to my father-in-law's house for, it was his birthday. Okay, well, that's not going anywhere. And we stopped to get food, and I was with my sister-in-law and my son. We stopped at a beauty supply, and we were supposed to just go straight for the food and come back. But, you know, that wasn't going to happen. So, we went in. Basically, like my sister said, it's the lights that get you. So, LA Colors I Love Makeup Contour Palette this was going around a while back everyone was talking about it and i could never ever find it because i live in connecticut and the only thing out here is like sally's and this wasn't at sally's it was like at you know the spanish salons or you know the beauty supplies in the, in the neighborhood so i found this one i picked it up in light medium i'm excited to try this out i was dying to use it today but i figured i would wait to show you guys that's what it looks like and I had seen I think the first person that I saw was I 
Alexis, Beauty by Alexis. I think she had shown this and then she had repurchased it. So I figured it's got to be pretty good. So I'm excited to try that. Then I picked up from LA Girls, the LA Girls Pro Prep, Pro Prep, Pro Prep High Definition Soothing Face Primer smoothing face primer i've heard a lot about this as well so i wanted to try it um i love primers so i'm hoping this is good then i also picked up two more of the la girl concealers i picked up the color natural for like under my eyes and just highlighting my face and then i picked up the color chestnut i was looking for toast I didn't find toast. I'm hoping it isn't too dark. I want to use this more for like a cream contour. And in eventually in a little while, I will be getting darker as it gets hotter. So I'm hoping these two work really, really good. Then I picked up at a different beauty supply some Jordana eyeshadows. These are baked eyeshadows. I picked up Green Mist. Purple Perfection and I picked up Sand Dunes. So these are three colors that I picked up. I'm excited to work with these and see how they look. I'll let you guys know. I will be doing a look with them eventually so stay on the be on the lookout for that. I also picked up the eye primer. I have tried these time and time again. Love, love it for priming. So the last thing I picked up at the beauty supply was this. And this I had seen Mommy Chula talk about it years ago. And it's the Nail Envy. Looks like that. And my nails are a hot mess. They grow a little bit and then they get like paper and they break. So I work, you know, typing a lot so I can't have, you know, long acrylic nails. But I wanted to try this out. I had tried it a while ago and I do know that it works it is a little pricey it was $18 at Rite Aid so no yes it was $18.50 at Rite Aid and it's just like that you put on a coat I think it's every day and then a week I have the instructions somewhere and your nails get you see them grow and they get a little harder so I need to use them because as you can see my nails are a mess so when I'm showing you stuff I'm constantly like er me should I say like that so we're gonna see how this goes then what else oh so then I got a gift from my sister-in-law and it was this mirror which I am in love with because it's gold and it's a mirror and it's beautiful so look that so it's got the mirror and I just think it's so pretty it looks kind of like diamond shaped like you've seen those diamonds ones they have at um TJ Maxx and Marshalls so that's what it looks like I am planning on putting it on my vanity and probably putting like you know some brushes or my setting sprays or just stuff that I use on the daily or I'm gonna put it like I did with my perfume but on this side here and yeah so Peach thank you so much then I also got um, from my sister-in-law as well this little tote tray case and this I'm gonna keep in my car because in my car I have um, I have like a setting spray, I have some brushes, I have some makeup that, you know, cases where I'm on the go or I'm out to lunch and I'm looking a little messy, I can just, you know, clean up a little bit. I have some lotions, I have some snacks. So, I'm going to put them in here. It does, let me get the key. So, it does have a lock and... That's what it looks like on the inside. It's got rows for like jewelry. If you wanted to put jewelry, I would probably be putting some palettes that I have, you know, like little powders and stuff. And you can remove it. You can move the the um, divider so that you can make it bigger or smaller. Um, so I might put my brushes here. I don't like to put brushes inside of the makeup 
um, my makeup bag because I don't like it touching everything else. So if it's laid out here and then I can put like my setting spray, you know, my um, blotting tissues and stuff. And then in here, it's got another one where it's got more space for other things. So, you know, this is going to come in very, very handy. You know, I have tons of little bags with different things in my car that, you know, go all over the place. So, I'm excited to use this and put it to use. So, I'm getting a little hot. I got this at the dollar store so that when I set my face, I can just fan it really quick and go. So, I think that's pretty much everything that I picked up. Um... If you're in the area where there's a TJ Maxx, you have to go and check them out. They have got so many new random things that you wouldn't think they would carry, like makeup, you know, like Marc Jacobs, um, Kat Von D, Too Faced, they've got um, Bosha, they've got so many things. Even in skincare, I've seen so many things that I'm like, wow. So everything here I bought with my own money. TJ Maxx they didn't send me any cards or nothing. Hopefully they will, but... I bought it all with my money, so I hope you guys enjoy this haul. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that like button. Hit the little bell so you're notified when I make new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.